enthusiasts and welcome to the first episode in 2023 or as I like to call it the season 4 premiere. You're of course still watching Scaled Affairs, the show where I take a closer look on anime figures of all sorts and we start the new year strong with this relatively recent addition to a fast growing universe of League of Legends releases because today's figure is the stunning 1 to 7 scale figure of Lux produced by the Shanghai branch of Good Smile Company. She comes to you in this landscape format box with large prints of Lux on each side and let me tell you this box is huge. I was expecting a bigger box since it's also a pretty tall statue but when she arrived I was kinda shocked when I picked up the package from the post office. The reason for the size and box shape becomes clear when we take out the blister. As you can see they pack the base completely separate next to the figure. Her pointy wand is also packed separate and thus that much space is needed. The only thing I found odd is that when boxed you basically can't take a look at her elaborate base. What is a bit sad because the base most definitely steals the show here. Mounting looks to the rock part of the base as well as putting the wand into a hand is pretty simple but if you are unsure how to do it there is a small pamphlet included that tells you all about the proper handling. Of course with a base design like this you have to be extra careful in order not to break stuff. Some of the effect splashes and the leaves in particular are very frail. Like I said when I initially unboxed her I was a bit underwhelmed how plain the figure is compared to the base. But on second glance over the course of this review I warmed up to her and found some noteworthy details. But before we dive any deeper, here are some key specs. If you are a fan of the game or pay close attention to the figure market, you might have noticed a strong uptick in league releases lately. Sadly, most of them are still pretty mid and whenever the style strays away from western comic to more anime-ish, chances are that the manufacturer butchers their facial expression. Luckily this is not the case with this version of Lux since Good Smile Shanghai and its artists are well aware of how to make a compelling looking figure in this style. Being made by a name brand like Good Smile also means that she is one of of the more expensive lol figures out there. If we include shipping and taxes you have to calculate with roughly 300 buckaroos and almost a full debt of space in order to show her off in your collection. For the money you get a pretty faithful depiction of Lux in her elementalist skin and a massive base displaying the four elements. And let me tell you those translucent effect pieces do look amazing. The flames and the water has some nice color gradients, the wind part looks sharp and forceful and even the rock with the green moss on it is one of the better ones I've ever seen. Of course it would have been extra nice if there was some kind of illumination included into it but at least if your setup allows it you can let some light shine through from below or from behind. The mostly white and cream colored looks provides a stark contrast to the colorful base and because of the pose and the excellent sculpt looks very graceful. There are tons of gold coated elements all over her outfit with the most prominent ones around her neck because those spikes do have a slight gradient from solid gold to translucent. Same goes for her staff that has the same effect on both sides. Another highlight of this release are the two gemstones in her chest and the headpiece. Together with the shimmery hair it can provide for some very interesting reflections. The paint job on her is excellent and I can't recall any major defects or sloppy lines. For a leak figure Lux's facial expression is top notch but maybe I'm a bit biased because I do prefer the anime aesthetic over western comic look when it comes to figures like this one. Ultimately it's a fine face but be aware that her expression is not as rich or deep as one might think when only looking at the promotional pictures. They do know how to proper illuminate those figures and so it might not reflect her final look in your showcase. In conclusion this surely is a clear centerpiece figure. She looks best when provided with enough room to breathe rather than crammed into a shelf with all your other figures. If you can provide a nice space for Miss Crown Guard and are a fan of the champion I would say go for it. They might not make a much nicer one than this version. But be warned if you are a fan of the game and start to collect those rather large 1 to 7 scale figures made by Good Smile, there are more on the way in 2023 and they will get even more expensive from here on out. Next time another Nando because I think my Justin should have arrived by then. Until then, thanks for watching and hopefully we can see each other again in a new episode of Scaled Affairs when I once again take a closer look on anime figures of all sorts. Take care out there and keep having fun collecting.